Well, Keith, the state attorney general says bold and drastic steps are needed because jails can be incubators for disease. At county jails across New Jersey, low-risk inmates set to be released to help battle the spread of coronavirus behind bars. This is the most significant public health crisis we face in our state's history, and it's forcing us to take actions that we wouldn't consider during normal times. The order signed by the state's chief justice impacts inmates who have been sentenced to serve time in county jails, not those awaiting trial. Some must be ordered released no later than 6 Tuesday morning, others by Thursday at noon. Ed Weinstock of the firm Weinstock Levin is a criminal defense attorney. I don't think um, streets are going to be any less safe, communities are going to be any less safe as, as of this order. Nobody charged with a very serious offense is going to get out. Up to 1,000 inmates statewide could be affected, according to the ACLU of New Jersey. The high court's order approves a deal reached among several stakeholders, including the ACLU, Office of the Public Defender, and State Attorney General. Judges will decide if sentences should be reinstated or commuted after this public health emergency is over. I take no pleasure in temporarily releasing or suspending county jail sentences, even for the lowest level inmates that are contemplated by today's consent order. This isn't a get out of jail free card, uh, so to speak. It's, it's, it's really to try to protect the citizens. Now, prosecutors can file objections to specific inmates being released. By the way, none of this impacts inmates who are serving sentences in state prisons. Live in Mays Landing, I'm Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News. All right, Ted, thanks.